And today we are here right outside of Children's Mercy as we welcome Truman and Encompass workers to the fight for 15. These workers, these brave workers we're talking about, they got the union part down. They got the union part down. Now we got to get the 15 part down. And they are currently in contract negotiations where they're putting $15 an hour with a 15% increase over the life of the agreement on the table. And we know that when workers stand together, we have power. And we want to let the Truman and Encompass workers know that their fight is our fight and our fight is their fight. And we got their back all the way. We will be standing with them. So, we're going to hear a little bit from some workers from our movement, well, all of our movement. And first up, I'm going to call on Melissa Dockery. She's an Encompass worker, and she's going to come to the, the podium. Let's play like the podium. She's going to come up, and she's going to talk a little bit about us, about what she does, her work, her work conditions, and what $15 an hour would mean to her. So let's give Melissa Dockery a stand-up case. Yeah. Welcome. My name is Melissa Dockery. I am a proud National Register Certified Medical Assistant. I have been with Encompass Medical Group for eight years. In 2006, I graduated with an associate's degree and began working in the healthcare field shortly thereafter. I first worked at Clay Platt Family Medical Group for two years, and before I was let go in 2008, I was making $13.97 per hour. I began working at Encompass Medical Group eight years ago, but I still haven't gotten any real or substantial wage increase since I've been there with rising insurance premiums every year. On my first day that I started out at Encompass, I had to take a $2 an hour pay cut. I am still trying to make back my previous wage, and it has been hard ever since. I am a good employee, I have had several different job offers and turned them down because I believe in loyalty. I believe that a good doctor and medical assistant relationship is important, not only for the daily working environment, but also for our patients with whom we serve. We, the employees of the office, keep the office running smoothly and we care about our jobs. Most of us are long-standing employees who put in our time. And yes, we deserve a $15 starting wage with raises based on the hard work and care that we provide. I have four children, 13, 11, five, and four years old. I work full time and yet I cannot afford to feed my own children at the end of the month. Think about that for one second. Between daycare costs, utilities, insurance, mortgage, clothes for the kids, and grocery bills, I have less than $50 to my name, which I have to make last for two weeks until I get paid again. Three years ago, I had to file bankruptcy. I simply couldn't make enough to pay off the creditors that were knocking down my door. As a sign of how hard I struggled, my wages were garnished. In September, I'll finally be free from those creditors, but I still won't be unburdened. My dad has terminal cancer. I live with him and take care of him on a daily basis. Life can be hard sometimes, can't it? It can also be terribly unfair. My dad is a fighter. Whether it's his cancer or fighting with his union, UAW Local 249, my dad always said, take a stand, don't back down, and no matter what, stand your ground. My dad fought for fair wages, and I'm making him proud by fighting with my own union, SEIU, for our new contract. <laughs> It's sad that we have employees at Encompass that have to work two jobs, some of which are single moms which have to get food stamps to feed their own children. Other fellow co-workers can't even afford to live alone because of our low wages. I enjoy working at Encompass. I love my patients and my co-workers, but I am demanding that management finally see the hard work we do and understand the struggle we go through just to survive because we make such low wages. I know we still have a long way to go before every worker gets 15 an hour, but it is a fight that needs to be fought, and this is the year to do it. I am willing to sacrifice my job to stand up for our rights. The real question is, are we willing to fight for 15 and stand up for what we truly deserve? I am worth more. We are all worth more. That's why we're fighting for $15 an hour today. Thank you and God bless. My name is Demonica Weaver. I work at Truman Medical Center Lakewood. I started at Truman, Center, Truman Medical Center six months ago and I only make $11.25 an hour as a full service worker. 
I am an employee. I work hard and I'm a single mother of a 10 year old beautiful daughter that suffers from sickle cell anemia and asthma. We have many doctor's appointments to make in times that she. To make times that she is in at the hospital. I have not worked at Truman long enough to even qualify for FMLA and I'm, I am struggling with our bills. I'm considering filing bank, for bankruptcy just to make paycheck to pay, make paycheck to paycheck. In addition to caring, in addition to caring for my daughter, I am also paying for my grandmother's medication and bills and helping my helping my sister take care of her four kids. I'm 28 years old. I work over 90 hours every two weeks to take care of my family. This is my story, but my co-workers all have a story. We deserve $15 starting at we deserve $15 starting wages and yearly increases. I'm standing with my union, SEIU, as we negotiate a new three-year contract. I am worth more. Each of you are is worth more. That's why we're here fighting today for $15 an hour. Thank you, Demonica Weaver. Thank you. Thank you, Demonica. And it's, it's no coincidence, y'all. The front of the shirt says stand up. But what it doesn't say is the courage it takes to stand up and tell our stories, to talk about the struggles that we go through as low-wage workers in this country. But it is how we win. It is how we win. We got to stand up and fight back. A man cannot ride your back if it's not bent. Straighten your back like these Truman and Encompass workers and fast food workers have been doing for several years and fight. 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 Until we win. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Okay, show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Come on.